Hi, this is Thunder from BorderWork.com, and today we're doing a review of the LG Chocolate Touch. Uh, this review will be broken up into uh, two parts. We're going to do a review of the phone and the OS, and then I'll do a review of the uh, music uh, player on the phone, which actually comes with Adobe uh, mobile support. Uh, this phone was provided to us by LG America, and uh, the review will not display any comments to that fact. First of all, the uh, LG Chocolate Touch is a uh, one-piece uh, candy bar phone. Um, it's a fully touchscreen uh, phone with a resistive uh, touchscreen. Does not have a slide-out keyboard, but uh, comes with a very slim form factor. The phone has three physical buttons on the face, which is a send, clear, and end button at the bottom. It also uh, comes with a 3.2 megapixel camera. Uh, has a couple of buttons on the left-hand side. It has a volume control button as well as a, a speaker mute on and off button um, has a mini USB port for charging and data transfer on the right hand side has a lock button a music button access button and a camera button the uh, back cover actually slides out pretty uh, easily to for you to add your uh, micro USB slot which supports up to 16 gigabytes and uh, you can also replace the battery and also change the cover your back cover which we were supplied with two different uh, options here from LG now powering on the phone and uh, getting to the OS the phone uses uh, LG's custom um, mobile OS here which allows for very uh, smooth basic functionality uh, the receive touchscreen is very 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 responsive in the past we've seen many different resistive touchscreens that actually do not uh, function well with uh, finger touch you most likely need to use a stylus but this actually doesn't require the use of stylus and is very um, responsive to touch uh, hitting the center button there gives, takes you to the home screen which uh, gives you a slew of options since this is this phone is on Verizon you get a VZ navigator you also get a browser the browser itself is not uh, like your typical um, uh, smartphone browser it's a little bit janky to use but um, it does do the job there's a Bing search which allows you to you know search for options or search for things on the web uh, integrated email which can actually have um, corporate email as well as uh, your personal email which is also a pretty nice feature uh, the phone comes with a social networking app send it go out to that which allows you to uh, check your Facebook status your MySpace your Twitter also add a, add a slew of uh, social networking uh, sites like uh, LinkedIn to that also out to the front um, uh, the very uh, first main screen you have five um, icons at the bottom your messaging your uh, your call entry now you can see the dial has very nice uh, large buttons so you can actually dial effectively and um, enter numbers quite clearly without any stress also um, the contact feature has a very neat option to it for searching contacts and where you basically go by the number system at the bottom so by clicking on that you can actually scheme through to the different number contacts without actually typing uh, the phone names in and allows for easy access there and you also have a favorite tag too where you can actually tag favorite contacts and things like that uh, a couple other things that come with the phone. It does have the VCAST system, and this phone is 3G equipped, so you can use your 3G, uh, Verizon's 3G service on this phone um, to basically browse faster as well as um, download music and also download other f uh, features and things you want on the phone. Um, the phone itself comes with a couple other apps you can also use. This is an FM radio, uh, this is an alarm clock as well as uh, a couple of the widgets for a memo, calendar, um, games and things like that. So you can add a few a few other things into this. But as a whole, this uh, does a very good job as a entry entry level phone. One of the few things that uh, do set it back is basically, I would say mostly the browser itself. The browser doesn't. Um, this is basically Verizon's own browser on the phone. It's not a. It's not an LG equipped browser. So what it does is it, it takes you through this process where you don't actually get a, a landing page. You actually get this um, 
page with basically sub icons that allows you to either click on news, email, and uh, other specific uh, points of view before you can actually browse or search on the web. You can actually open up a browser link, but then again, it's uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty janky process. So yeah, that's the uh, the browser for you. Uh, like I said, it it's very janky. It does um, it takes a while for you to actually get a start a, a search bar for you to actually put in a site or uh, search for any um, specific uh, web address. But um, you can still use it. It's, it's still usable. It just takes a, a longer period of time. As a whole, you know, the phone's very light in the hands. Uh, it's easy to use. If you're looking for something that's not a smartphone, um, but actually does a very good job at uh, combining uh, some of the smartphone features, this phone does a very good job at it. Um, the other key thing here, which I will I'll show you in another video is the uh, music player and the music uh, playback capabilities. Um, it uses Dolby, uh, Dolby Mobile, which gives it a very uh, crisp and unique uh, sound feel to it. They've LG's done a good job of implementing um, different options into the music player itself. You have the FM radio, of course, but also you can actually buy music on the fly because you have uh, Rises 3G. You can actually enter into the shop mode and actually purchase songs from uh, the Vcast shop and um, add to your, your music library, which is uh, pretty cool. At least you don't, you're don't you not tied to uh, services like uh, Raspidy or Amazon iTunes. You can just basically purchase off your phone and throw it on there. But um, it's, a, it's a very smooth service, but definitely we'll show that to you when we cover uh, the music player itself. Um, yeah, well, that's pretty much the... LG Chocolate Touch for Verizon. I believe the phone's out now. You can purchase it either at Verizon store or uh, you can probably purchase it from one numerous retailers online. Again, like I said, it's a very, um, very nice, uh, slim factor uh, candy bar phone that functions and works pretty well. Um, it allows for you to use apps. The camera itself works very well. It's a 3.2 megapixel camera, like I mentioned earlier. All the options are all touch screen, so you can take pictures and save, and uh, also share the pictures as you take them. Uh, the one thing to note is the video playback quality, so the video recording qualities of the camera are not that good, so this is not something you want to use for, for video recording. But for taking pictures, it works very, very well. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the... Uh, LG Chocolate Touch. If you have any questions, let us know. Uh, you can uh, post on the YouTube page or also on our uh, uh, Facebook or Twitter. Also, you can just buzz us on Google Buzz. Um, if you have any uh, comments or questions, don't forget to also subscribe to our YouTube page. It's Border Work. Uh, Twitter page is also borderwork.com. And uh, let us know what you think. So, this is um, Thunder E from Border Work saying uh, thank you and I hope you enjoyed the review.